Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Maria Connor and Gary Windes from Coronation Street will finally get some positive news regarding Mason Radcliffe next week. The couple is relieved to learn that Mason is likely to be imprisoned as a result of his knife crime charge. Mason threatened Maria's kid, Liam, with a knife late last year. The event occurred as part of Mason's ongoing bullying campaign against Liam. Liam didn't bring up the knife incident when he told Maria and Gary the truth about his bullying experience last month. On Monday's episode, March 4, Liam's younger stepbrother Jake Windus revealed the truth to Maria and Gary instead. During his return to Weatherfield on Wednesday, March 6, Liam confirms Jake's discovery. Maria responds by taking Liam to the police station to file a formal statement against Mason. Mason attempts to frame his erstwhile friend Dylan Wilson for the crime, but Dylan eventually does the right thing and tells the authorities what he knows about the bully's actions. Next week, Maria and Gary explore Liam's new homeschooling regimen which is intended to keep him away from Weatherfield High for the foreseeable future. The pair is halted by a police officer, who confirms Mason's accusation of threatening with a bladed instrument in public. The police officer adds that Mason is likely to face a prison sentence, but does this mean Liam and his family have seen the last of the villain? Luca Tulin, who plays Messon, recently remarked on his character's past, and why he has become such a cruel guy. Luca told Digital Spy, he doesn't have a father figure around, which explains a lot. He is quite involved. He is heavily influenced by masculinity, which does not offer him with an avenue to express his emotions, just the contrary. He has been encouraged to suppress. It's like shaking up a can of Coke. When that happens, and you have that stuff going on in your family, it adds to the strain and I believe that pressure is impacting him. His way of dealing with the pressure is to take it out on Liam and Dylan. And I believe that is basically a ticking time bomb, it's only getting worse. The anger inside him is like acid, eating him up. I don't see it getting better, I can only see things growing worse because of his background. Coronation Street spoilers follow. Jake Windus has made a startling disclosure about Coronation Street bully Mason Radcliffe. Mason appeared to have gotten away with bullying Liam Connor again last week when Dylan Wilson declined to grass on him. In Monday's episode, March 4, Maria Connor had to be restrained from attacking Mason after he walked into the cafe while she was bringing Liam out for a milkshake. The family received some positive news when Liam's teacher, Mrs. Cranshaw, confirmed that she was gathering evidence to dismiss Mason from school. Unfortunately, Mason was up to his nasty behavior again, as Liam watched him bullying another boy at school. Liam told stepbrother Jake Windus about what he had observed, but he acknowledged he was too afraid to report Mason for bullying someone else. What will he do if he discovers I've grassed him up again? He'll come get me, Liam explained. Then he said, this other boy is going to have to deal with it himself, just like I had to. Jake took matters into his own hands, disclosing to his father, Gary Windus, and Maria that the bullying extended far beyond their knowledge. Mason wasn't simply bullying Liam. He threatened him with a knife, Jake said. This revelation will set off a chain of events that will spiral out of control during the week culminating in Dylan being outsmarted by Mason and arrested. Adam Barlow's destiny has been revealed following an attempted murder plot against him on Coronation Street. In Monday's episode, March 4, the solicitor put his life in peril by turning against drug boss Harvey Gaskell. Adam had agreed to assist Harvey with his appeal over Natasha Blakeman's death in exchange for Harvey taking retribution on his behalf against Damon Hay. However, Adam has subsequently reconsidered this deal with the devil, even after signing his divorce papers with Sarah in the most recent installment. 
His crisis of remorse led him to remove Harvey's appeal paper and then hand over some damning CCTV footage to the police under the alias The Murder of Natasha Blakeman. Adam sought to persuade Sarah to give him another chance after Harvey threatened him that he was a dead man with a phone call. Let's tear these divorce papers up and start again, he said. Sarah was conflicted by Adam's appeal, prompting her to dash out into the street. Bethany followed her mother, only for a car to accelerate Adam around the corner to push and Bethany them. out of the way just in time, but he was mowed down by the automobile before it drove away. While Adam's prognosis first appeared bleak, Sarah was told at the hospital that he should recover completely. A detective asked to speak with Adam and explained her view that it was an attempted murder. I guess you create many enemies in your line of business. Is there anyone who wants to hurt you or your family? Adam was asked. Adam paused before saying, not that I know of. Meanwhile, Sarah told Bethany that Adam's sacrifice made her realize she still had feelings for him. Sarah went to Adam's bedside to express her feelings, but was horrified when he revealed that he had been working with Harvey to exact revenge on Damon. Sarah was concerned that Harvey would try to target her or Bethany again, but Adam asked her not to go to the police. You've got to trust me, he urged, to which Sarah responded with disgust. Trust you? I can't bear to look at you. Has Adam ruined his chances for reconciliation with Sarah? In the area we used to hang out, there would be some lads that would sort of resemble Mason. Coronation Street actor Luca Tulin, who plays Mason Radcliffe, has revealed the real-life inspirations for his character. Fans of the show will be aware that Weatherfield bully Mason has orchestrated a nasty campaign against Liam Connor, encouraging Liam's erstwhile friend Dylan Wilson to assault his classmate both online and in person. Tulin told Digital Spy and other media that he had never observed bullying at his all-boys school, but drew inspiration for Mason's character from happenings outside of the classroom. I went to an all-boys school, so to be honest the only things I did see would be outside of school, which is where I took a lot of the influence for Mason, said Tulin. He went on to say, in the area we used to hang out, there would be some lads who would sort of resemble Mason, but we were usually the ones running away. So I think when you see that, and it's so imprinted in your mind, and you grew up watching shows like that, I think that helped me quite a lot with that character. There's human beings, and obviously I won't name them, who I use and I remember their mannerisms, and how they speak, and the way they come across and use that for Mason. When asked if being good friends in real life with Charlie Renshaw and Liam McChain makes filming bullying situations easier, Tulin said, way easier. I don't think you can perform those sequences until you're close, since you can't truly unleash without trust. Especially in sequences where I get physical, pull out a knife, or get up in Charlie's face, you won't be able to sense that trust and really let go. So I believe it is critical for our relationship as a trio, as well as the performances and what you see on television, to have that connection. Tulin noted, for the heavy scenes, more so with Charlie because me and Liam haven't had as much friction, we will separate and not speak to each other. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.